Uh, we're going to do this pretty quick because this time recording only gives me five minutes, which is a good thing for you. Okay, so first of all, you need to have a picture of yourself that you've taken in some sort of position. So I've taken mine already. So I'm going to go to erase.bg. I'm going to upload my image. So what I'm going to do here is let's go through. I'm going to find my picture of myself. Now I took my, uh, you can see I've already done this before. Um, I took a picture of myself with a green screen background. And um, you don't have to take yours with a green screen background, but I do find that it helps to smooth out the picture a little bit if you have um, that kind of uh, smoother, uh, cleaner background. And then it's going to make it transparent. At that point, you're gonna download the original size. Now you have your picture. Now I like to go over to Pixabay if you're wanting to pair that with another picture from the internet. These are all royalty-free images that anyone can use. I'm gonna type in nighttime here to find this picture of a wolf. I'm gonna to go to free download, make it a little bit bigger resolution, download that, now we're good to go. Okay, so now I go to this website, pixlr.com slash e. This is where I'm gonna put my picture of myself together with the picture that I just found online. Now I'm gonna to go to open image here. I'm gonna get the picture that I just downloaded of the wolf, and that's my first layer, okay? So think of it kind of like a hamburger, like this is one layer of the hamburger. Now I'm gonna add in my other layer. So I'm gonna click on the plus here, image, find that image of myself. I'm gonna put that here. You're gonna notice that that's way too big. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna size this down and you can see over in the layers area that now I have my second layer, okay? Now there's only so many things I can show you today, um, but I'm just gonna show you the basics. So I'm sizing myself down. I can even rotate it this way if I wanna do something like that. Okay, so there's that picture, okay? So um, that's just if you're wanting to pair it with one other picture. Now there's lots of things that you can do to these um, different layers. You can adjust them for uh, color, for different artistic effects, but whatever you do, you need to make sure that you're clicking on the layer that you're wanting to adjust because they are separate layers. Okay, so now let's say that you're wanting to draw your own picture. So I'm gonna delete this wolf right here. Oh, no, I just deleted myself. <laughs> I'm gonna delete this wolf and now there's just me. So I'm gonna move myself over here really quick. Okay, so what I need to do though, before I start drawing is I need to make a new layer, okay? Because if I start to draw on this, then anytime I try to move myself in the future, it's gonna move the drawing too, and you don't want that. So you're gonna go to plus and then empty. Okay, so now what I can do is I can get like a fill tool. And then if I want sort of like a light blue background, something like that, I can click that. And then I can click back here and there we go. Now you'll notice that I just disappeared. So the reason for that is because the layer of myself that has been cut out is not on top. So I just click and drag that and now I can see me again, okay? But if I do any more coloring, you have to remember, so I'm gonna, let me just go to my draw tool really quick. Um, let's say that I wanna draw some grass in here, okay? So I draw some grass, but look what happens when I try to move myself. Now it's gonna move that grass too. So remember, before you start to draw, you need to click on that other layer before you start drawing. So if I go to my draw tool here, I can even click here and adjust the size of my brush and all that kind of stuff. And then I can start to draw my grass or whatever else this is a horrible drawing, don't judge me. Um, and then anytime that I want to move my person, I can move my person, okay? There's other cool things that you can do too, like there's this uh, gradient tool, or if you click here, um, you can do a bunch of different colors. You drag from one side to the to the next, and it does that. There's tons of different things that you can do, but like I said, I only have a five minute time limit on this, so I gotta be quick. So once your drawing is done, and you've done everything that you want to do, you're gonna go to File, you're gonna go to Save, okay? I always make it the highest resolution possible. Save as, you can call it whatever you want, strange picture, and then you're gonna save it, and then boom, there you go. Now, I think you only get two uh, free saves a day, so you have to be careful, just make sure that you don't, um, you know, you're not trying to download too much stuff because then it'll stop you eventually. Okay, that's all I have time for. I hope that was helpful for you, and have a good life, and have a good day, and bye.